Yo, welcome back to a brand new Craftopia guide. In today's guide, we are going to be talking about unlocking the blueprint. Now, as always, if you enjoyed this guide, please do drop a like and subscribe. A comment down below with any help that you may need in the game. But let's do this. Now, blueprints have been in the game for a while. However, we have just been introduced to a new one, the multi-sling. Now, I made a video for an automatic peach farm, and I told you guys that I would have a guide coming soon on how to unlock the multi-sling. Well, this is that guide, but also all the other blueprints in the game. Now, first things first, we're going to head into our inventory. We're going to go along the top to blueprint. Once in here, you will see that we have all these blueprints here. And then at the very end, we have the multi-sling. Now, if you click onto that blueprint and head over here, you will see that it gives you a description of the item, but it also tells you how to obtain it. This one here is rarely obtainable from warrior, researcher, or fisher as a quest reward. So this actually goes back to a couple of videos ago where we spoke about how to do the NPC quests, how to deliver collectibles to the NPC. However, this is actually the same thing. We need those NPC quests to unlock the multi-sling blueprint. But if we head back into our blueprints, we will see that we need to do the warrior, researcher, or fisher. So to make this easier, I would advise putting down a crab pot. So make yourself a crab pot, get some droppers, absorbers, and a chest. Next, place your crab pot on the floor, and then equip your droppers and place them on the top. Now, I actually do about four, but it's kind of up to you. I just do that just to be on the safe side. So what you will end up with is a crab pot like so with some droppers on the top. Now remove the floor from underneath, and down that goes. So what that means is when this crab pot has actually caught something, it will be fired out the top and be brought to the top of the water here. And then what we can do is actually place down a chest with an absorber on the end. So anything that gets fired up will be brought into this chest here. Now we do actually have a guide coming out for a fully automated crab farm that's a little bit better than this, but if you're just trying to do it for the multi-sling, this will be fine, but you may need to leave it for a while to collect or make multiple of these. Have as many going as you can. Well, I've actually obtained two multi-slings from NPC quests, and both times they've asked for a crab. Now this doesn't mean you can only obtain it with a crab. There is other ways to obtain it. But for me personally, it's been a crab. So I would advise if I was you to have a few crabs just in case. But there's also another little trick you can do. If you head into your workbench and scroll down to storage, you will see that we actually have a cloud storage. It's fairly easy to make, but this is a chest that you can access from anywhere. So for example, if I was to place this chest down, anything I now put into this chest, I can then destroy it so it's on my person, go about my business, and wherever I am, I can replace that back down, and the items that I put inside are still in there. So I have this full of my collectibles. So anytime I'm at the NPCs checking what they have, if they have something that I want, I pull out my cloud storage, and chances are I have that item here, minus maybe some of the ones that require enchants, but for the most part, all of the collectibles will be right here. So I take my cloud storage around with me and off I go. Now the NPCs reset every hour, which means if you are desperate to get that multi-sling, then I would absolutely advise setting a timer on your phone or your computer to ping you every hour so you know to go and check what is now in the NPCs rewards. So next, we're going to head into an altar of transportation and you're going to choose an island where you know where the NPCs are. So, for example, I actually have a dedicated NPCs island, which means I have a spawn point in the center village part, allowing me to spawn on the NPCs. So if I travel there, you'll see I will spawn right in this market part. And right in front of me, I have a researcher. So we're going to talk to the researcher. So the researcher is actually requesting one flawless ancient document for one hard talon. So what I would do is I would head into my inventory, grab my cloud storage, place it down, head in here, and 
pick out a flawless ancient document to be able to give to him and put away that chest so obviously i don't want to do that but you can see how simple it would be to complete that quest if i was after that reward just from having that cloud storage on me saves me having to go back to my base however if you don't have a cloud storage yet, going back to your base isn't the end of the world. I would focus on trying to get a spawn point down so that you're able to just come back here and spawn straight in this village. But as you can see, we have a fisher here. So let's talk to fisher. Now he is asking for one whale shark for one griffin feather. No good, but there's 34 minutes remaining, which means I would set a timer on my phone or computer for 34 minutes. And I know in 34 minutes to come and check that reward for all three again, because you remember it's not just the researcher, it's the researcher, fisher and warrior. So the warrior requests a enchantment for two jambalaya, but we do not want that. These rewards are no good. We would actually have to come back and check when it resets. But other than that, there is no real way to farm a multi-sling you would have to do it this way now once you have gone through and your npc finally has that multi-sling as a reward and you make a trade for it this is what you will be given a blueprint of multi-sling so you would use it i can as i already have but then when i head into my blueprint it will no longer be grayed out you can now actually access it so now when i head into my skilled machine factory you can see that i actually have the multi-sling in here and it only takes five hardwood, five rubber, and five iron ingots. Now, the great thing is about the blueprints is once you have unlocked it, that's it. You don't need another one. You can make as many multi-slings as you want off of that one blueprint. But there you go. That is how to actually unlock the multi-sling blueprint as well as the other blueprints. So as always, if you enjoyed this guy, please do drop a like and subscribe. Comment down below with any help that you may need in the game. Or if you want any advice on acquiring a multi-sling that maybe I didn't make so clear in this video. Remember, if there's any blueprints that you want, click on the blueprint it will tell you down in the left hand side how to obtain it but majority of blueprints are either boss kills or npc quests but most importantly enjoy the rest of your day stay safe and i'll catch you guys in the next video Peace.